All right, I'm, I've mixed up all my colours. So I've used, used um, mainly pigments and, oh actually I haven't used, oh yes, I've used black and white um, pigment paste, but the rest is just pure pigment. I have walled the sides of the tile with some bare tape and I put painter's tape on the back. So it's just a, it's a fabric cloth tape and it just has a, you know, fairly stiff, stiff side and it also is very, very sticky. You've got to make sure it's really stuck well because if it leaks out, I'll lose all my effects. Okay, so I'm going to to do like a pour, some pores here and move sort of up towards there. I actually might I'm do some pores straight onto the surface. Now I'm just going to use a toothpick. Which I'm going to use without my gloves because I can't do it. And I'm going to drag up.
Okay, now I can show you what I did. So it looks completely different through the camera up there. Um, so I did actually make the mistake of, of using a toothpick that had residue glass on it. I did get some interesting effects though, but it wasn't quite what I wanted. It's a bit annoying. But I actually quite like that. I mean, that in there is really interesting. And over here, this has worked out better, more sort of how I wanted it to work out. This is better. So up the top there, I'm going to do a flower. I just mixed up a very small amount of um, Masterclass 121 resin, which is a thicker resin for which I use for pooling. All right, this is my second layer, and I'm just going to do a close up of this one. I took the tape tape off because it was bending out too much, and I was worried because I'm, I'm going to do a little bit more work here on the second layer. So I put a new new bit of tape along the edges. So now I'm going to do my pooling. So I'm going to create my flower down a really, really small amount of white. Just move it out a bit. Remember, go make it as small as possible because this moves so much. So just small, small amount of white as possible. And then I'm going to do some pooling. So I'll start with a light, lighter tones. So we'll start with some gold. I'm just going to put really tiny, weeny amounts on.
just working on this little area down here, which I wasn't happy with. The resin's all stuck and thickened, but I think I can do it. So that, I just needed to fix this back. I'm, I'm just going to fix that bit down the bottom line because I just don't like. I don't like it's too too muddy, and I really like parts of this bit. Just that bit I just don't like. I'm going to fix that. So I'll mix up some more resin. Okay, I'm just going to do this bottom section, which I'm not happy with. Um, this is all still wet, but this actually might create a bit of a a wall for the resin I'm about to put on. So I'm just going to do a little tiny pour again here. Just a little tiny one. tile works that I'm working on. Now I've just got to um, sand that edge off there. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to finish them off yet but I'm going to get rid of that sharp edge down there. Just with an electric sander. Just very careful. Right. It's the next day and I wiped all the silicon off and made sure there's none, none on the surface. And now I'm starting to do a little tiny, very small amount of handwork with some acrylic paints. I'm just using structure acrylic paint so it's nice and thick.
finished doing some more handwork on the road, the um, pomegranate. Then I just, I just been playing around with this, um, this jewelry wire. I'll show you so you can see. So that, a bit of jewelry wire, and I just, I love it. And I just thought, just to add a little bit of, like a visual interest in there, and then maybe a little bit down here. Just a little coil. I think it looks quite nice. So I'm going to put some pool pool of clear resin in there, and there's 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 a sort of a reservoir there. So I'm going to have a pool of clear resin that will hold that there, and I'm going to put a pool of resin over just over the flower. And <coughs> okay, this is my red loving <laughs> flower painting, and I'm I'm going to do a little bit of handwork on these flowers here because um, I think they need they need some more um, definition and some more light they're, they're quite dark they're too dark so I'm going to just do a little bit of handwork and I will just put some pools of clear resin over the top of it um, when I'm finished so I'll just show you what I'm going to do so I'm going to use I'm just using acrylic paint so the paints that I think work the best are these um, really thick paints, the structure paints. They actually stick really well. Um, sometimes I, I will, I might actually sand this a little tiny bit there, um, but not too much because I, I, I don't want to see any sanding because I'm only going to put a small bit of resin over top. And the other thing to remember is because I have used a lot of, uh, I have used resi blast there. So there's a lot of there's a greasy surface, so I need to use some, um, this is just some alcohol, pure alcohol, and just make sure you get it all off the surface because the paints will resist if you don't. If if your paint is re resisting a lot, you then you actually do have to sand. You'll have to sand. I don't really want to sand too much because. Um, I'm not sure how far, the, far I'm going to work on it. So just a little bit. I might just do a little tiny wing, just a very light sand with a bit of sandpaper. Because I put gold on top, I don't want to disturb that too much. That pigment is just sitting there. So if I scratch, scratch too much, I might take something off. So just lightly, just a little bit. We'll make sure you get rid of it all, all the dust. Just place a little tiny coil of this gold wire. So at the moment, with the acrylic paint just sitting on top of the resin like that, it's, it's actually very vulnerable because it, it can actually be scraped off, which is quite good if you if you make a mistake if you want to change something. But as a permanent surface, unless it was covered with some sort of a lacquer of um, it could be just a spray varnish you could spray if you masked off that area. Um, or what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, because I want to embed those things in it, and I want a pool, a clear pool of, of resin in those areas there, just as another layer of depth. So I'm not putting resin all over it, and I'm just going to wipe resin down the sides, sides of the artwork. Yeah. I'm just going to wipe white resin here with a cloth just to get a bit of a, a cover because I've painted acrylic paint down the side. So I'm going to do that with all these artwork I'm going to show you. I mixed up a small amount of Mastercast resin Oops. <laughs> and um, 
Now I'm just going to very carefully paint an edge to try and get the resin only to, to flow to that area, that spot. I do not want it to go any further than that. It's created a small pool in that reservoir there. And then you can see I've just put the resin has just it's just gone out to the edge of the flower so it's covering covering all those hand worked bits that I did. Um, and I'm gonna wipe some resin around the sides and put a tiny pool there on my initials. <laughs> Okay, so that's what I'm going to do for all of these. So the tiles, uh, the artworks are finished now, and I'm just going to show you that part of the artwork is the way it is presented, the, the board that it's presented on. And I've just got a piece of, it's just a piece of MDF board, it's wood, and on the back I put a couple of strips, strips of wood, of MDF, and I glued them with wood glue, and then I've, I've undercoated the back, and then I've undercoated the front, and then I've done two coats of a really good quality interior gloss paint. And I've left this part here bare because I'm going to glue glue the tile on with um, with liquid nails. So um, I'll just squeegee on some liquid nails, and then I'm going to centre it. I'll actually draw some marks, put it on there, and then I'll glue that on. And the same with this one. I will, I've just left that bit there and I'm going to put liquid nails just sort of out to there so it doesn't squelch out and I'll slip that down. And so when when these paint when these paintings hang from the wall they will sit out from the wall a little bit so there'll be a little bit of a shadow so it'll just give another added added dimension to a painting which already has a number of, of relief surfaces. So that, uh, so the the actual way on uh, framing framing the painting, I guess you call it a frame, um, is actually part of a uh, part of the work and a part of the way it looks when it's actually hung on the wall. So I'm quite um, pleased with these two; they've turned out very well. So this is these are two in my series, um, she flower series. I have a concept behind all of these, all of these. So this is my sweet pomegranate. My sweet pomegranate flower is has jewels, jewels in its centre. So she she has jewellery and she has a ring around her stem. So they are like fem small female figures. Surreal. It's a very surreal painting. This part here, interesting. It's quite a shimmer across the work. See it? It's the gold pigment. Here, this is my red loving painting, and this has got a real shimmer of gold. Look, you can see it. 
across the work. And that real relief texture. So it's got a lump. These are these are lumps. It's not flat. There's not an overall flatness about it. It's quite it's quite textured. So there you have it. Both finished. <laughs>